Hey, it's Cameron from The Contortionist, and um, I'm sitting here in uh, New Jersey. We're playing at Starlin Ballroom down the road, and I'm here with uh, the godlike uh, individuals who are uh, making awesome products that are really saving my life at the moment, and they're kind of some of my secret weapons for the sounds that I get, or that I'd like to say are you know, characteristic of something that I would like to sound like. So uh, yeah, just we'll delve right in and I'll uh, show you what I've been working with. So this Maxon chorus pedal, the analog chorus, um, I use it a lot for um, the detuned kind of seasick sound. And I've found that this pedal in particular, because of the analog circuit, it just sounds, it's kind of got this extra warmth that the, some digital units, like this digital unit that I use, the TC Electronics, when I, when I compare them side by side, they just, I, there's something in the warmth of the sound that the chorus pedal, the actual analog chorus pedal gives. And I think it's something to do with the fact that, at least for me, um, this, these switches here, when I have the pure switch on and I have it going out of the inverted out, it kind of, you get the shimmer of the, of the chorus. So you can you get really seasick and really wild with the, the chorus but you don't get the low end flub. It's not like mm, mm. You hear more of the, you know, what, what I want to hear is the shimmer and like the, the high end content of the, of the chorus. Pedal. Another thing that's kind of grab, why I've gravitated toward this pedal is because you can have all these nice sounds, sounds with a clean channel with these chorus sounds, but usually when you put the pedal in front of an amp and, the, and then you put it through the preamp, it kind of like you lose all this clarity and it kind of sounds muffled. But I've found that this, this pedal kind of, it does that in a pleasing way where it's, you've, you've got, you really hear the distorted chorus signal, but it's still, it's not too rambunctious. It's kind of, here's the dry signal. <laughs> And then this would be the with just the chorus pedal on. This is just direct into the amplifier with no nothing else. Here's the chorus. Dry. There's the chorus. Most people would, would say that you'd always want to blend your chorus in the, the effects loop of the amp or something, which sounds great too, but for my purpose on stage, this helps me out a lot because in the studio, you can, you know, you can blend things, but in a live setting, hearing that, that chorus on top of the guitar going into the amp but still being able to tame it down is more, you actually hear it cut through the mix and it sounds like, you know. I've always been a fan of Alex Lifeson and his slam and his discord. I just have always loved that sound and this pedal is definitely emulating it um, really, really well. So we just finished a record and I used it every time I needed, a, uh, you know, a, a nice shimmery sound. Um, actually, it was the only chorus sound that we use was with this pedal. With our music we've got you know these pretty modern sounding guitar licks with with high gain and stuff but then we'll need to slam into a chord where it's an interesting chord voicing that you know it takes a little bit of clarity to in order to for it to sound good and it just I don't know I, lo I love how this pedal doesn't muddy up the low end and it's kind of it's, it's when I was wanting to hear a sparkly kind of sound this this pedal is just exactly exactly it. This is Cameron from the Contortionist, and I play Max.